This here is the heart of our little empire. Tell me, what do you do here? Your operation, precisely. Arms trading, mostly. Need to start a war? End one? Planning a coup, maybe. We don't ask these questions. And this hall is from Night City? Some. But our reach stretches around the globe. Japan, Australia, the Balkans, Lagos. You name it. All right, I'm in position. Preparing our evac route now. Take your time. I need ten more minutes at least. Not much further now. I couldn't get started earlier without risk of being compromised. And Emmerich? They should go without saying, but stay in character. Good luck. Let's keep moving. Ah, my brother. He talks little. Huh. Noticed and noted. Sometimes I find this creepy. But not you, I hope. Hey, just met the guy. My, my. A diplomat. Pleasure to see you both. Songbird needs a moment to disarm the device. Which gives us a chance to chat. Your man mentioned trouble. That NUS intelligence is interested in our meeting today. Trouble is an exaggeration. And many people try to stick their noses into my business. I know this, and so I'm careful. Were I you, I would say no different. <clears throat> Think I'm lying? Of course you are. Excuse me? The only question that matters is whether your lie brings any harm. If our arrangement is truly safe, why should I care? Well, I assure you it is. <laughs> you know, I find your pragmatism refreshing. Changing the subject, did you enjoy yourselves at the Black Sapphire? My people tell me the games went high stakes. You two left richer and happier, I hope. Indeed. I was pleased our fortune turned around in the end. You... were pleased... to go bust? Does the end result matter at all? I play only for the thrill. Huh. <laughs> well, I'd expect that sentiment from your sister, but... you, Amaric? <laughs> we are siblings, are we not? The Black Sapphire is my pride and joy. I worked hard to make it the go-to destination for Night City's royalty. Why did you stay in Night City? You are not from here? Well, seems I'm not the only one who's done their homework. It's a good question. One I've asked myself many times. Call it a symbol I've grown attached to. Like the NUS flag. Night City represents a great failure. Of yours? Of principles. Say, it's been a while since you were last in Night City, hasn't it? Not since Sinoshore. Quite right, but we almost flew here some time ago. Emmerich had other business in Night City. My brother is obsessed with cars. <laughs> he collects them. I say to him how wonderfully pretentious he is. Interesting. And what rare gem brought you halfway around the world? I had my eyes on a Rayfield Erondite. A second hand, of course. The new ones are overpriced. Interesting. Because the first I ever heard of you, why, 
It was about you being in the market for a used car, but certainly not a Rayfield. I have a diverse collection. I work much and spend even more. You understand. Of course, although my spending differs from yours. True, war is an expensive hobby. Please, I have vodka. Help yourselves. I'm sure you never put pleasure before business, but I insist. A symbolic drink. <laughs> I could not say it better myself. Symbolic, yes. Not very American, I know, but it's a custom my friends in Siberia taught me to love. Symbolic. Mm -hmm. To your help. I thought you didn't drink. I do not. But I understand the importance of ritual. It would be rude to reject Siberian hospitality. Ah, right. I had almost forgotten. My friends in La Sante send their regards. C-Block. Uh, your friends are mistaken, I think. Are you sure? You spent two years in that prison, under a false name. That's right. In the VIP wing. But the cockroaches in C-Block don't know who is there. Then forgive me. I must be mistaken. Colonel, may I see your knife? By all means. It's a traditional Yakut hunting knife. You see, I spent some time in the Philippines. I've had a keen eye for fine blades since. Fascinating. Such a rare thing. By the way, Amrick, I asked around a bit doing my due diligence. They tell me you worked at Petrochem three years ago. Corporations rarely let your caliber talent slip through their fingers. How did you wriggle out of the contract? All change in the corporate world is affected with money. I could afford it. A convenient answer. Generic, uninspired, and almost definitely untrue. Given when this was, I'm amazed you claim to have any memory of it at all. I thought our collaboration was built on trust. I was sorely mistaken. Right. On trust. Did you really expect I'd be fooled so easily? A regrettable miscalculation.